Hello and welcome to the module 3, second part, application protocol. Here we will talk about different application protocol and how to use them for certain tasks. Hypertext Transfer Protocol is an application layer protocol designed to be used on top of the TCP IP protocols. HTTP is designed to provide access to a multimedia resource indexed by Uniform Resource Locator, locator URL. HTTP commonly uses port 80 and requests and responses are made in plain text through an open TCP IP connection. The, the following example is extracted from the HTTP standardization document. First part of the request is the method. The following methods can be used. Get, post, head, options, put, delete, trace and connect. Their meaning is sometimes more semantical than an actual difference of, of, on their effects. For example, get is intended to retrieve a resource without modifications, whereas post is intended to send information to modify a resource. However, both of them are usually interchanged no matter what the semantical meaning should be. Other operations have a very specific meaning, such as head or options. Head asks the server to return only the header of a resource. Options returns the method that specific the, the methods that a specific resource supports. The semantic meaning of put is to send a new resource to the server, so it will be available on the server. Delete has the opposite meaning, to remove a resource. Trice and connect are methods used to manage the way a request is transmitted to the software attending the request. This software can be behind several layers of proxies, tunnels or other middleware with respons responsibilities like access control, cache and etc. Request method is followed with the URL requested and the host name requested. This makes a minimum HTTP request. Other optional fields give information to the server about the client who is requesting the information. This allows the server to give a response customized for the client. Request body follows the request header after two carriage returns. Body format is usually plain text encoded on XML or JSON. Uploaded files are sent as multi-part MIME message. MIME messages were originally developed to attach binary files to the text body of an email. This technology encodes the text the file in base64 format and attaches a small header describing the content. This header includes a MIME type, which is a standardized type to describe the format of the file sent. It's composed by a type and a subtype, for example, content type, text plane. Now let's see how HTTP requests are made by a Python client. The following examples are extracted from the Python manual. The following code shows the simplest request to obtain a resource using a GET request. First we import to the library. Then we create a request object using the URL and then we request to open it and get the response. Then we can read the response and, show and store another variable. Now we are going to send some data to a server. We create a request in a similar manner of the on the that on the previous example but now we are going to use uh, values to create an url encoded data and then we we create our request not only using at url but also with an object data when we open this request we will receive the response and the data will be sent to our server Sometimes servers require a custom header to be sent with information like IDs or passwords. We can create an object header and send it to our request in the same way as we have sent our data. Now 
now we can see here a real example who is uh, which is, is using open weather map to send uh, data to our to request data from our location we can uh, sync up on open weather map freely and receive a weather forecast using the following code We are going to test this example on our, our Raspberry Pi. We go to programming, we open our Python 3 programming interface, and we create a new file with the code uh, we have seen. You must remember to sync up on Open Weather Map and get your own private key and use it on your examples and we can run this example to get the information about the the city that we have chosen you can ch select the city on open weather map and you will get you it's a unique identification number for the city you are where you want the information and if we will run the model, then the application make the request and receives the forecast for the city. There are a lot of application layer protocols. We have selected some of the most used ones to Internet of Things applications. For example, the con Strain application protocol, Coop, is a specialized web transfer protocol for use with constrained node and constrained networks. The nodes often have 8 bit microcontrollers and small amounts of RAM, while constrained networks have high packet error rights and typical throughput of tens of kilobits per second. The protocol is designed for machine to machine applications such as smart energy and build automation. MQTT is a standard using the publish subscribe messaging protocol on top of the TCP IP protocol. It is designed for corrections with remote locations where a small code footprint is required or the network bandwidth is, lim is limited. Publishing subscribe messages pattern requires a message broker. The broker is responsible for distributing mm -hmm. messages to interested clients based on the topic of the message. XMPP has its roots on instant messages and is a contender for mass scale management of consumer white goods such as washer, dryers, refrigerators, and so on. But because it assumes a persistent TCP connection and lacks of an efficient binary encoding, is typically not being practical over low power and low C networks. Its case strength is its name domain addressing scheme that helps connect the needles through the huge internet haystack. Health Device Profile is a Bluetooth profile designed to facilitate the transmission and reception of medical device data. Health Thermometer Profile and Heart Rate Profile file under this category as well. Simple Network Management Protocol, SNMP, is an Internet standard protocol for collecting and organizing information about managed device on IP networks and for modifying that information to change device behavior. Devices that typically support SNMP include routers, switchers, servers, workstations, printers, modem racks, and more. Universal Plug and Play, UPNP, is a set of networking protocols that permit network devices such as personal computers, printers, internet gateways, Wi-Fi access points, mobile devices to simply discover each other's presence on the networks and establish functional network devices and data serve communications. UPnP is intended primarily for residential networks with enterprise class devices. UP is generally regarded as unsuitable for deployment in business settings for reasons of economy complexity and consistency. In this lesson we have seen how 
HTTP is used to access resources and other protocols important on the IoT ecosystem. In the next lesson, we will learn about security considerations on the Internet of Things. Thank you and goodbye.